Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Ashraf. Uh, my question is, uh, is eruption allowed in Islam? Better ask the question, is adoption allowed in Islam? If by adoption you mean that you take a young child, a poor child, and give him lodging, boarding, clothing, bring him to my house, Islam has always stressed in the Quran that you should help the poor people, help the needy people. You can even get a child to your house and give him a fatherly love. What Islam objects to is you cannot legally adopt. You cannot give your name to the child. Legal adoption is prohibited in Islam. Why? Because if a person adopts a child legally, there can be several complications. First is that the man, sorry, the child, whether it's a girl or boy, it will lose its identity. Point number two, if suppose after you adopt a child, you may have your own children. No one can say that you will never have children throughout your life. If you have your own children, you will be biased towards your own child than the adopted child. Point number three, if the children born to you, if they are opposite sex, as that is adopted child, they cannot freely stay in the same house because they aren't blood sisters and brothers to each other. If the adopted child, after he grows up, if it's a girl, after she grows up, she'll have to do hijab with the so-called father because he is not his original father. If the adopted child is a man, if it's a boy and he becomes elderly, he becomes a man. And then if he marries, again, there has to be hijab between the daughter-in-law and the so-called father. And there are several other reasons. And besides that, if you adopt a child, you will be depriving many of your relatives of the right. Because after a person dies, whatever property he has is divided according to whatever mentioned in the Quran. If the person has children, and if he adopts a child, but natural, he will be, he will be depriving a share of his own child. If the person, if he dies, if he had no children, then the wife will get half the share as she should get if she had no children, including the mother. If there are children, she gets one-sixth. If there are no children, she gets one-third. Again, if you adopt a child, you are depriving the share of your mother. So to prevent these complications, legal adoption is prohibited in Islam.